Well, she ran from being an intern at the Flint Journal back in 2020 uh, to taking uh, one of the definitive photos of the Supreme Court nomination hearing. That's right. Sarah Beth Maney was on assignment for the New York Times covering the confirmation hearing of Supreme Court nominee Katanji Brown Jackson. Priya Mann joins us live. Priya, you spoke to her about what this moment means to working moms and women of color. Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, Sarah Beth Maney is mixed race. She's black and Mexican, and she was only one of a handful of minority photojournalists who was covering the first black woman to be considered for the Supreme Court. I think I was really trying to use my perspective as a black woman to properly tell this story. On day one, Sarah Beth Maney saw Judge Katanji Brown Jackson's 17-year-old daughter, Layla, smiling at her mom in admiration. I just processed what that may have meant for her. And then I lifted up my camera, hoping that she would make that same expression. And that's when I was able to make that photo. So it was very intentional. Three days later, the picture went viral, sparking a global discussion about working moms, representation, and women of color. It really made me think about um, who I am as a woman. I'm a mixed race woman. I'm Mexican and black. And so my mother raised me to be a very strong willed, independent person and told me that I can do whatever I want. And so I sort of felt that when I saw her smile. The 26 year old reflected on her own childhood growing up in the Bay Area, raised by a single mom after her dad passed away. The sacrifice and triumph resonated as she snapped the photograph now etched in history. I think at the moment, I was probably subconsciously thinking about everything I had been through with my mother because growing up, my mother worked four jobs at one time. Judge Jackson herself spoke to the struggle of most working moms. As I've tried to navigate the challenges of juggling my career and motherhood. And I fully admit that I did not always get the balance right. Sarah Beth says this is proof representation is important in front of and behind the camera. For me, like seeing Layla's face, that sort of put my feelings into a visual. And that's why it was so unique and special for me, because when I saw her, it what it told me was, you know, she's looking at her mother with this admiration and pride, but she's also looking to the future and seeing all the possibilities that she can achieve. Yeah, just unbelievably powerful. You know, Layla ended up reaching out to Sarah Beth after that picture went viral, thanking her. She also did some Googling and researched Sarah Beth's career, saying she admired the photojournalist. Reporting live tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. A lot of other people admire her, too. That was a great photo, uh, Priya. I'm wondering, though, what's, what's next for Sarah Beth? Well, Kim, she's actually on her way to Detroit. She's going to be working for the Detroit Free Press. And I can tell you, as somebody <laughs> who works in the field, we can't wait to welcome her. I can't wait to see her oh, out here. That is that is just <laughs> fantastic. Great story, Priya. We really appreciate that. Nice. <laughs>